Well, we have a 72 acre facility here and we're allowed to house 50 horses at all times. I want to make sure we have enough grass for everybody. All of the horses that come in are surrendered to us. We don't do any type of rescue situations. We're a private 501c3 nonprofit organization, so we ask that whoever the owner is of the horse surrender it to us. Sometimes we also take horses from animal control and other humane societies that have been surrendered to them and they don't have the facilities to, to house them. And uh, so they will in turn surrender them to us. When people call and say they need help, we will work with them to resolve whatever the situation is with their horses. We just don't say no to anybody, sorry we can't help you. We do work with them until we can find a place for their horse to go or get some kind of assistance for them. If they're injured or they need uh, any kind of medical treatment, we'll provide that. And once they're assessed, we put them up for adoption on our website. And if people are interested, they can fill out an adoption application. If the application is approved, then it's just a matter of finding the right match for them based on their experience and what their you know, type of horse they're looking for and what discipline they want to use the horse for. Um, they sign a contract with us, they pay an adoption fee, and at any point during the horse's life, they can't keep the horse, it's returned to us. We talk to a lot of people who are interested in adoption because rather than go out and purchase a horse, they want to give a horse a second chance, and they feel like by coming to the Humane Society or other equine organizations, we disclose all the information we have on the horse. We tell them all of their medical history that we know, what experiences we've had with the horse while they've been here. So we're very upfront, we're very truthful. We want to make that best match for both the horse and the owner the first time. This is a very peaceful place. Horses adjust very quickly and I think um, part of that is because they communicate. You know, they're very sensitive animals and they can communicate to each other and they know that it's a good place and people are here to take care of them and help them. One of our biggest needs, of course, is feed and, and hay, grain and hay, and bedding. We go through a lot of horse bedding. Like I said, any type of horse supplies, it doesn't have to be new, it just has to be usable. We take used blankets, halters, we go through a lot of halters, um, warmer, whatever you know, people can donate is greatly appreciated. And volunteers, we really need volunteers. They are the backbone of this organization. We couldn't do it without them. We don't have the staff to do it all, so we rely heavily on volunteers. We will uh, start them from scratch with Rachel, our, our four-legged employee, and teach them how to groom, how to pick feet, how to lead a horse, how to turn a horse out into a field with other horses, how to clean a stall, what the horse's needs are, um, work with their feeding schedules, and teach them about supplements. And we uh, have a lot of veterinarians and farriers in and out of here all the time for different uh, health related issues that they can learn from as well. They learn what a bow tendon is and uh, fractures and um, it just there's just a variety of different things that we can teach people here. There's no excuse for people to neglect or not to feed their horses. If they have a voice and they have access to a telephone, it's just a matter of making phone calls. There are people out there to help. We do euthanize. That's part of our mission. And that's the only way that we can allow, we, we can take everyone that needs our help. People can contribute in a number of different ways. They can volunteer their time. They can drop off uh, horse supplies, whether they be new supplies or used supplies. Is, uh, we're, we accept any donations. Hay, feed, <laughs> wormer. Um, we're just appreciative to have whatever people are willing to offer. We have a lot of nice horses. A lot of these horses are going to go on to do great things. Everybody doing a little bit can really help a lot of horses. This is the safe haven for the, the ones that need a home.